Yeah, 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 you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content. So, respect the shooter went down yesterday, Philly Battle Academy. I feel a little better about it today than I did yesterday. While it was going on, it was just a lot of things happening. It was one round battles. Uh, the Dre Dennis versus Jack Boy Main was a one round battle. Uh, Prep versus Profit was a one round battle. Snake Eyes versus Chef Trez was a one round battle. And you know, I, 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 I like to know that battles are gonna be one rounders before we like really cop them and really be vested in them. But salute to the Battle Academy. Um, the Rex versus Rock did go down. There was no fight or nothing like that. But yo, <laughs> Snake Eyes versus Chef Trez. The return of Briz Rosty happened, yo. The return of Briz Rosty, yo. It was crazy. Like, first of all, uh, Snake Eyes is going through his round. Uh, he's 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 getting into some bars. Now your man Rock been talking crazy. So before you dial something, I wanna get past him. You on camera talking about I wasn't supposed to leave with these scary ass nigga. Nobody was there to snatch him. And uh, he's like, my squad ain't on no pussy shit. Get beat up at venues. Now the whole culture gotta look for Briz. And it hit too. My team ain't on no pussy shit. Get beat up in a fight like y'all. Now the whole culture gotta look for Briz. Oh. I ain't gonna hold you. The ball hit. But uh, Briz happened to be in the venue. And so Briz came down like the Undertaker. From the World Wrestling Federation, ladies and gentlemen, he is the one. <laughs> At Survivor Series 1996, uh, Briz comes down from the rafters. He is the only. He is the Undertaker, and look at that. He's descending from above. He was at the top. It was like, go. Yo, son, the Briz Rothstein really came down. He's gonna drop in and beat somebody up from the rafters, and it was like a return. He was dressed in all black, too. Son, it was crazy. Son, Briz came back. Snake was getting- Yeah, 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 Talking about, you know, the whole fight situation that everybody's been talking about. But yo, son, Briz Rothstein returned. I felt like watching Survivor Series in 96, The Undertaker has returned. He literally was coming, it, it came down. Now he jumped on stage, the crowd got hyped. It was a hype moment. And it's good to see Briz Rothstein back. Uh, obviously, you know, his name has been in so many battles, whatever the case may be, uh, people talking. Uh, you know, the fight, the fight, the fight, but son, Briz Rothstein came. <laughs> he came down from the rafters like The Undertaker in 1996, dog. Um, Snake Eyes had some bars, but um, as I mentioned yesterday, and um, just a little quick recap Chef Trez was way too intricate. Like, he had a lot of intricate bars. Like, he was like really like wilding. He said something like, uh, you let Rex join, you let Rex start banging yesterday, ain't no respect for that. If Rock started claiming blood tomorrow, he would get checked for that. Like, he was like wigging, wigging. Like, Chef Trez was on go. And he went first, so he didn't even get to rebuttal or none of the three of them things and nothing like that. Snake Eyes had some bars in there, too. Uh, he was, he, you know, he said, uh, like he said, the, the line that got Briz to come from the rafters, like the Undertaker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Snake had some material, I'm not gonna hold you. Um, he had some bars. He was definitely, uh, he wasn't, he didn't choke, he didn't stumble or nothing like that. It's just Chef had a cleaner performance. He had more intricate bars. He was really like punching at a crazy rate. And Chef's energy was up and he seemed like he really wanted that smoke. This would have been a better battle as three rounds and I thought it was going to be three rounds. I did not know it was going to be a one rounder. And if I'm in the position that I'm in, where I'm at in battle rap, as far as like breaking down bars and recapping battles and things like that, um, I, I would I would like to have known that this was going to be a one round battle. I'm just saying I would like to have known it was going to be a one round battle. Then I would have judged it accordingly. Um, but what I will say is there were some three round battles on there. 
the Ad versus Bill Collector happened to be three rounds, and um, there was a couple other ones, but uh, Enes versus um, Franchise was three rounds. That was a pretty good battle, too. Um, overall, the event had some pretty good battles on it, but they had some other battles on it that really wasn't like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's just me being honest. Uh, salute to Stiz, salute to Battle Academy. But they had these long intermissions. Like, the one intermission was like 31 minutes. I timed it. I was literally like, I put my whole Christmas tree up and everything in the, 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 the freaking YouTube video. It was like they was playing the same videos over and over and over. It was like cats that I never even heard of. Some dude running around with a bulletproof vest. Yo, I was like, man, come on, bro. Stiz, I told you. You my man too. I, I you gotta call me. I call you whatever the case may be. I seen you call me yesterday. I ain't get to. I'ma call you today. But when you want that 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 respect and that acclaim and to be put in that highlight, you gotta take the criticism that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? And you cannot afford to be having no 30 minute delays on no Saturday, dog. Like, what you got on my Saturday, homie? Like, what you got on my Saturday, B? I don't got 30 minutes to be waiting for no battles, fam. Like. Call it how I call it, cause I don't spoil it, but B, I don't got 30 minutes. So let's tuck that in, and let's get it right on the next one. You know what I'm saying? I hope to see you back, I hope to see y'all back. Them undercard joints, <clears throat> none of them was hitting like that. First battle, no. Uh, J400, uh, I don't know if he, he twists his ankle, hurt his knee, I don't know. His man, K Walker, that battled him, was spitting his round on stage to himself. I'm, look, I'm looking at the battle like, who is he battling? And it was nobody, everybody's there like, not me, not me, he's doing all of the guns and this. And I'm like, yo, he's not even battling nobody. Uh -uh. But uh, Snake Eyes versus Chef Trez, I feel like we got robbed of a three round battle because that's a three round battle. That's a three round battle that could have happened on another stage or that could have happened somewhere else that would have probably been a better battle. But as a one round, it was cool just being cool. But, uh, Briz Rosty came back last night. And I heard Briz Rosty is going to be battling too. And I heard he's battling Murder Mook. I'm going to just be honest with you. I heard. Who cares? It is what it is. I, that's what I heard. I heard he's battling Murder Mook and I heard it's happening on the Ultimate Rap League. That, that's just what I heard. You can take my word for what it's worth and you can put it in dirt and I'm cool with either way. But uh, eh, that's what I heard. That's that's definitely what I heard. But um, the VOD for Respect the Shooter is out. Uh, it's a whole stream. It's like two hours and 22 minutes. It's a whole, you gotta like click through it to find the battles that you want. I like my battles broken up, but I'm gonna give you, I give y'all what y'all, I give it to you, I give it to you. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. I'm not gonna trip about that. But uh, what I will say is, um, there was um, some battles on that card that was pretty cool. Bill Collector showed up and did his thing versus Av. I got Av winning, but Bill Collector did his thing. Um, Franchise versus um, Ines. I got Franchise winning. Ines had a very top heavy first round. His first round was very heavy. The second and third, second was the only okay, and the third was cool. Uh, but Franchise was Franchise. It was a very, it was a winnable battle for him too. He just, I, I, I got Franchise winning. Um, but yo, Chris Rothstein came back last night. So. <laughs> it was like Monday Night Raw, dog. It was like Survivor Series. Not the not the little car where they put the diggers who do they who they not really marketing it. Not that Survivor Series. The Survivor Series, the WWE shit, man. Yo, I was excited, B. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh shit, Briz is back. He comes to the stage. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Briz, the battle rap world needs your energy, bro. You you your energy is needed. Whether uh, regardless of what happened, people could come back from a lot. The only things that you cannot ever come back from is rape and like things with kids like anything with kids you, you you're out of here forever but anything else fights happen things happen you could come back like you can come back it's all about how you come back but the culture definitely we can't not not have briz rostin like come on dog like niggas get into fights every day Pete. you're gonna be all right you seen rock just stand in front of each Gotti's first round of course it was gonna be crazy of course it was gonna hit but it, as you move on the, you know, it dies down and you'll be able to uh, to continue your career. But, dog, when Snake Eyes said that shit, boy, Briz Rothstein was like, I'm here, nigga. I'm here. I was like, yeah, yeah. I felt like a, like a fan, dog. I was, it actually was a fan moment. 
So I will say um, salute to Battle Academy for bringing us that moment because who knows when that moment would have happened. Um, and Snake Eyes do have those type of bars that gets niggas, he, he get niggas in their feelings, you know what I'm saying? Like when he was snapping on, snapping at Rock, Rock was talking back, chiming back at him or whatever the case may be, which turned out to be some good moments, you know what I'm saying? It turned out to be a good battle with some good moments, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I will say this, salute to Briz, hope to see you back, um, salute to Chef Trez and um, Snake Eyes for an exciting one rounder. I would have preferred three, but these I, I really feel like the league should be telling us if battles are going to be one round. Like, when John John and them had a card full of one rounders, they killed him, but he produced Briz versus Loso, which was Briz, one of his craziest last performances, and he produced Tay Rock versus uh, Bad News, which did a million views. So that I could take that for the $30 that it cost. But what I'm not going to take is cards being promoted as some of the biggest cards of the year. It's being promoted as this and that. And we get there and half the battles on the card is one round is. Like, come on, B. Like, if I pay for an ounce, I want an ounce. And I don't even smoke. It ain't no joke. But other than that, you already know what it's doing, what it does. So you ain't got to ask what it was, man. Let's get this shit together, baby. Get it together and keep it together. One.